You're watching Adorama TV. All right, welcome uh, to, wait. Uh, Hey everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. Today we're going to be talking about slates. And if you've ever shot a video of any length, you know how important it is to have a really nice slate and a good slating system to keep track of takes and rolls and cards and all that kind of stuff. Well, a lot of times we just use a dry erase slate like this one. Uh, and when you have multiple cameras, you can just do the old audio sync to make sure that both cameras are in sync. But now there's an iPad application called DSLR Slate and it replaces the uh, old standard slate and has a bunch of features in it. We really like it and so we're going to take a little look at DSLR Slate for the iPad. DSLR Slate is an application that allows you to slate for video. It's pretty simple. When you open DSLR Slate, you'll have this screen, which allows you to put in all of your settings that you're using for your scene and cameras and things. So you can go into a, a setting like this one for ISO speed, and you get these nice pop-up windows that allow you to set um, all your parameters, like ISO. So if I'm shooting with a uh, DSLR, I can say, well, in this one, I'm shooting at ISO 800, for example. Um, then I can tap off that, it gets me that. I can set my aperture, the shutter speed, frame rate, uh, different white balance settings. Um, you can uh, talk about what the lenses that you're using. So you might have an icon lens uh, on a depth of field adapter, something like that. You set your focal length. If you have a specific filter, you can go in here and say, well, we're using, uh, let's say an ND filter. Um, so I can put that in there, whoops. So it's automatically capitalized. Um, an ND filter there. Um, you can put in your camera, and so this just says cam, but I can go in here and say uh, we have a couple cameras here, so I'll say that's camera one, or uh, sometimes you might have it color coded, so you could say, you know, we're using the red, um, so I'm going to say that. Um, your scenes and takes can be numbers, or your scene can actually be like this. So I'll just say this is the uh, demo for DSLR Slate. I'll say I'm done there. Take one, and these can auto increment, which is really nice. You can put in different projects, your producers um, or your, your VFX person, you can put in the director. So all of your uh, parameters can be put in there. And you can set the uh, background to be either bright or dark, depending on if you're shooting outside or inside and which one works best for you to actually capture the information. Now, when you're done doing that, you click this, it says open slate, and then you get your slate. And the nice thing about this is it has a time code here that continuously runs, and so you always have a, a unique number. So if you're trying to sync multiple cameras, you can use this time code to get it right down to the current frame. Now, uh, for this to be accurate, you need to uh, choose the correct time code. So right now we're uh, running at 24 frames per second, which is not what we're actually shooting, so I can unlock this. Um, and once that's unlocked, then I can go in here and say, actually, we're shooting at 30p, which is what we're shooting this video for. And that'll update this time code so it's actually in sync. Then I'm going to lock that again so I don't accidentally bump that. Um, so once that's done, again, I can set this to dark or bright. I like bright. Um, and it has all the information that you have here. Now, when we're ready to take a scene, I can push the start button. And that's going to give me a countdown and also flash. Uh, all of the information we put in really quickly so we can go and step through that frame by frame. So let me show you how that works really fast. And bam, we're ready to go. Now once we start, let's say I mess up a take, which is pretty common for me, you can auto increment that. So I can say take two, let's do that again, start it, it gives me my countdown, it flashes all of the uh, scene information. And there we go. And we can just keep incrementing this um, take number. Now, um, once you increment the take number, if I close the slate and go back, well, the take is automatically updated there as well. So those two things stay in sync. Now, there's a couple other features here that I'd like to point out. One is um, the take is locked until you actually hit start, but you can unlock that to increment. Um, or if you want to go all the way back to take one, you hit this X, it takes you back. Um, the other nice thing about this is there's a color chart. Now, actually, this is not a very accurate color chart because real color charts, like a Macbeth color chart, is, has light falling on it, and it, so it's reflective. This uh, iPad application is emitting light, so the colors aren't going to be accurate, but it's there, and you can use it as a reference. It even has a little warning sign that comes up here and tells you how to use this correctly. So I can close this and go back to my slate. Now, uh, one of the other things that I can do here, just if you want to uh, clean this, and start from fresh, you can hit the reset button 
and it says, do you really want to do this? I'll say yes, and that clears out everything so you can start a new project over again. And that's about all there is to it. This is a very, very simple application that's very powerful, and I highly recommend it. Well, that's DSLR Slate for the iPad, a great application for anybody that's shooting video. Well, remember, if you have a question for me about any kind of iPad-related applications or photography gear, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. And I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.